Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my short Fortnite updates. This here is a pre-patch update on the Fortnite Spring It On event. I have been completing the quests that we have been giving this time around, and I hope this is going to be the same as what you guys have when the actual game has been updated. The first mission that we have is to search for these seven pots of gold. I found them at the outskirts of the map that I was playing, the very first map that I went into. To. The thing you need to note about these pots of gold is that they explode, dealing quite a bit of damage to you when you search for them. So take note on your health and your shield when you search these storm gold areas because the loot actually explodes, but it does damage your shield first. So just wait up if you are having these areas very close to each other, as I have here, giving your shield a little bit of time to recharge before you grab the next one. Completing the last one with 30 seconds left and that is really all you need to do find seven of these pots of gold search them don't die and complete the mission that you are in because as always if you don't complete the actual mission you won't be getting the progression 500 event tickets for completing the first one and the next one here 50 lucky clovers 100 v bucks as a reward this is the thing that i already got a comment about how do i find these lucky husks all the husks are lucky so take it down a lot of husks and grab have a lot of clubbers they seem to be dropping randomly when you take down husks i can really recommend that you go help out with the storm shield defense because we have hordes of husks in those i was of course playing with the new reclaimer and i managed to do four or five storm shield defenses with others during the first two of them i completed my my mission i kind of just really love doing the storm shield defenses so while i was there i did the i am a bear kind of crazy stuff and just <laughs> raked in additional hero experience points but i also got my 100 v bucks the next mission is to set up traps for the leprechauns yeah exactly once again these are located for me anyway like at the outskirts of the map pretty much the same type of locations as where i found the pots of gold you just only need to find five this time and there is nothing to it again it takes like 30 45 seconds if you're on a hoverboard and you have them lined up like what i have just trailblazing through them holding down e and then that's pretty much it you have uh, nobody take me flakes and you get 500 of these event tickets so easy peasy pains for sure the next one is like a bit more challenging at least it was for me you need to examine some garden gnomes and they are supposed to be green and the first of them were green i found them in completely random weird locations in an industrial map i do believe they can be in any map but this was like the map i ended up with i just took the play with others each of these were pretty easy to find two of them were like i had one next to an encampment and another one in the middle of a cluster of husks then i had this one here and it's not green like not at all it is completely normal but it was with an exclamation mark and it was one that actually had to be searched as well so it was a different one than the others at least for me and it was the second last one and the last one was i didn't really believe that this was where i had to go find it i'm pretty sure you guys are gonna have some <laughs> a bit easier locations but for me this was like on the top of an industrial building behind a wall close completely in in the survivor shelter and there we had the very last one that i had to find so it was a little bit more tricky than the rest of them but besides that very entertaining casual cool quest to complete and i had a mimic up here and since i was playing with the shamrock reclaimer i kind of had to see what my three i am a bear towers could do when they were up against a mimic because the really cool thing about these bear towers is that they actually also create a blockade meaning that they act as a wall on top of being created crazy damaging things as you can see this is a power level 100 missions and they just mass gank this chest being so a good times and my name is quest completed giving 100 v bucks so a really cool mission and the last one was really 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 tricky for me to complete you need to visit one club in a downtown city area yeah i played five different city maps without finding a single pup and the, this is where it this is where it happened in this Lankerton the city map was where I finally found a pub. I don't know why it was so hard for me but I played five maps in order to find this one here with a pub. You just need to go in there and then you complete the mission getting your choice of one of the three new legendary heroes. Well they are demolishers but these are the skins for the demolisher class that you're going to be getting. You can pick whichever you want and I actually 
actually went with the Battlehound Jones, even though I'm a bit more normally into the female characters. You also get this one here, the Leprechaun, an epic survivor that, according to the details in the collection book, should match up with any personality, but mine right now says Dreamer, so perhaps once like the game actually gets patched and updated, that will change as well. That, guys, was what I had to share about my playthrough of the new event missions. I hope you enjoyed. Note, guys, that this here may change since the game hasn't really been updated yet, but <laughs> yeah, as always, guys, thank you very much and very much for watching.